Hey, you. Yeah, you watching the video. This has been one of my most edited videos so far. It took me ages to do this shit, so leave a like and please do fucking watch the whole thing. Yeah, thank you. Today we'll be continuing exploring the Golden Apple Archipelago. Today we unlock the new parts of it, plus a new story. And today we'll be taking a look at that. So let me just change scenes, and here we are. So... For context, my original first reaction to the first few seconds, it got corrupted. <laughs> my PC accidentally shut down, so yeah, this might not be, this isn't the first reaction. But don't worry, I only reached the part where Jean was talking. Okay, we get to do this again. We wake up to Barbara. Very nice. And sadly, she's no longer in her swimsuit. Depressing. Huh? You're awake. Morning. I, I hate Paimon so much. She's talking to me. Stop waving at her. This is the second time, Paimon. I'm the main character. She said, on an honorary night, not Paimon. You dumb fuck. Okay. Did you have a good rest? Yes, actually. Huh? Barbara, you're... Good morning, traveler. Ah, Jean, also not in her swimsuit anymore. Depressing. Jean, your clothes! Yes, yes. Jean, why did you change back? Well, this is a complex and evolving situation, so we should be ready for any eventuality. For security reasons, we changed back into more combat-ready attire. Combat-ready? Barbara's wearing a whole fucking dress! Even though it may not allow us to make the most of the surroundings, my apologies. No, I do not accept. Go back. Oh, don't apologize. It's in everyone's No, business. it's not. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. <sighs> back to work already. Ladies and gentlemen, the Knights of Favonius Acting Grandmaster. Okay, Paimon's finally done. Impressive willpower. Good job, Jin. I wish I had more self-discipline. You're too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. This is as far as I originally got, so we're finally back on track. Back on track. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. Okay. It must be Dodo King! No. I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, it's D. Luke and Kaya. Okay, okay. What are they doing here? Searching for Jean, I suppose. Look, there are two figures over there. You blind ass little bitch. Hmm. Huh? It looks like. So what? Is Mon mm -hmm. on fire, and you need Jean, or oh, is this? Their own secret operation? Hmm? Hmm? What the heck are they doing here? Well, they look cool. It's Kaya and the weird grown-up. <laughs> weird grown-up. Do you look no? Huh. I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. Uh. What are you two doing here? Huh? So it's not Dodo King? So, the, sp the smoke. It's either they landed on the sand and it created, created a lot of dust, or Dilak and Kaya were fighting, you know? Ice meets fire equals mist, smoke, hmm. evaporation. Dodo King. Huh. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. No, what the fuck? You know? Did please say it? I wasn't paying attention. What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. This is the perfect time to release uh, their swimsuits, Mihoyo. Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? We removed it, remember? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Yeah. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. We got rid of the smoke and fog, Paimon. Lucky them. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. Oh. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. 
Hey, they used Deval? Huh? You mean Deval and carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. I see. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? Oh, jeez. As he discovered Ventius. I guess Devalin must be a die-hard fan of classical ballads. Oh, he definitely knows. Wow! <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you yes, assume? Too. The acting Grand Master's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions Wait, to you? Did they come here at different times? What the fuck happened here? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. I see. Is it Albedo and Silkros? Yeah, I'm, sadly, you just can't avoid leaks. I've seen, I've seen scenes. I mean, I've seen thumbnails on YouTube. Various reasons. Yes. Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. You mean they abandoned you? Oh. <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. No, no. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. Oh. I was right on Albedo, but Razor? Why? Huh? Albedo and Razor? Oh! <laughs> Okay, I get it now because Klee, they're both please consider. Klee considers them as the her bigger brother, big brothers. There you go. I found the words. Congratulations, me. Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation. Definitely not. Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? Eula. The mighty librarian ah. Lisa, of course. Oh, well, now Lisa is fucked. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Or don't be out for an electrocution. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Yes. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Probably looking for Klee. Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Probably Delik and Kaya fighting? Ah, uh, yes. That. I should start with how we ended up here. Uh huh. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. Sweet. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Not really, you know? If you look a little... You're literally looking at it. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. Uh. While Diluc believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. Must have found something he's more interested in. Yeah, definitely. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're yeah. fated to be doomed together. Ah, uh, yes. Right, Master D. Luke? Brothers at arm. <sighs> is that so? Yes, it seems. Albedo is an alchemist, and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. Ah, <laughs> uh, is Mero yourself aware the amount of time she used Kaya to... Make a nice bridge. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Hmm. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took such effort to freeze. <laughs> ah, she, she did a nice bridge. Pilo, so incompatible. If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. <laughs> they did end up doing that. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? Oh, guess what? I was right. 
That's right. I still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts. Um, both. Uh, regardless, things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You two, please join our travels. If only we could actually use them, you know? If only Mehoyo would give us a free trial, at least for this island. Nah, they're too stingy. At least I have plea. Sure. Eight. Nice. But of course. Yes. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Uh huh. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go look for him. Nice. Oh, this island is really big. Where could he be? Uh, I scream, Albedo. Mr. Albedo. Hey, we did the same thing. Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Ooh, is that Albedo? Whoa, he just came out of nowhere behind us! Yes. Mr. Albedo! Hello, everyone. Hello, Klee. I thought that we might convene around this time. Uh-huh. I trust you enjoyed your stroll? How kind of you to maroon us on <laughs> that neighboring island. Ah, oh, yes. Cavalry Captain versus Alchemy Captain and Ex-Captain. Oh, please don't mention it. I felt <laughs> that the two of you could do with some alone time. <laughs> Albedo, why did you come here? And Grandmaster, like, all the higher-ups of the Knights of Pavonius are here. Sweet. I received a letter. From the Dodo King? On the way King? over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. Uh huh. They were all signed Dodo King. Dodo. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master Dealer <laughs> says Dodo King? Me. Here. Everyone's letter was different. And yet all of them drew us to this archipelago. What did the letter say? My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, nice. that's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. Uh, yes. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. Huh. <laughs> It would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Pretty sure the grand patch story is fake, but okay, I'll believe you. I won't. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? Anyway, so what's your story, D. Luke? There is an abyss order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. Well, that's definitely true. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. Well, if they know this much, it's probably someone within us, or it's just some magic super powerful villain. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? For a vacation, of course, a beach episode. Yay! <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. Yes. I never trusted the letter to begin with. Then why did you come? Yes. It would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. Didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. Draft? A kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, Paimon knows! Paimon knows! It must be Draft, right? Yep. The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. Ah. She needs help. Well, okay. Not people of Sklee, good for her. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists. 
But there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. I don't mind. This is the first time we got this many character interactions. This update should be called the character interaction update, especially with the Serenity Teapot stuff. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! Uh-huh. <sighs> if you say so. Ah, uh, yes. Big red man agrees to big, small red girl. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over. Or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. Yep. We know. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found. And there's no sign of a boat having left. Hey. First canonical death of a character we have. Character gets removed from the character pool. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump. If he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. Hey, it's the boss island. The platform! Have already been there? Yes. We were there a few days ago! There was a mysterious machine. Jin said that it came from Inazuma! Hmm... Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Uh, it looks like it. Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Oh, it's called the central platform now. Oh, well, we shall go with it. 